Chair. I just wanted to add that the department heads met with their, when we were going over this budget meeting, and I think they all uh, put, I know I did, all the departments put a 5% wage increase in there as a start, um, or at least they were going to. So I, I think did all the department, you did not? I did. Okay, you did. So did all the departments put in 5% um, in? I did. Okay, and then some put in more, but... Um, I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that before we started because the department heads discussed that when we had our, when was our last department head meeting? A <coughs> month ago. So. We all agreed on that so that so that when it came time to talk wages were all talking the same thing and not run into a problem like we did a few years ago. So we all talked about it and agreed <coughs> that we would all ask for the same thing then we're all in the same spot to start with. With regard to, so you have an estimate of what the budget is going to be with regard with that request. So that, and, and like that's right. So at least you have some hard numbers to go with uh, on that. So, but I just wanted to put that out so everybody knew ahead of time. And I believe we used um, 16, 16 and a half percent, somewhere between 16 and a half. I used 20, Deb. I'm not sure. For insurance. Always go higher than what they think. Yeah, I think I use twenty. Too. I use twenty on mine. Is that is sixteen and a half, Becky? Does that sound like a number we talked about? Well, sixteen is what the insurance company was like, figuring, right. but if I put twenty, in I, think well. I, I think most of us. I think most of us. I put twenty. Now let's frugal. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> email. But I think I used 20, so just so everyone knows. Anything else that needs to be put out so the commission is aware? I think that that's all we talked about as doing that we were going to do it, you know, fairly cohesively is the salary part. But it wasn't done. It wasn't done, 5 and 20? Yeah, but not for everybody. Oh. Not okay. everybody put five. Okay. They either put less or more than uh, five. There was two department requests that came in that were quite a bit more than five. Okay. So the minimum is five then for everyone. Is that right, Becky? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going to go with four salary there. Page 29. Are we gonna, we're not going to discuss salaries first, so you guys determine what you're going to give, because I think you would just automatically do the 5%, but what do you Okay, we'll discuss the salaries first. Anybody have any discussion on that? Well, I, I'm just going to throw this out. I'm not saying it. I'm just stating the fact. The state did do nothing this year, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm just throwing that out there. Don't take it the wrong way. I'm just saying the state did do nothing this year. But I guess since I'm talking, I, I think five is a little, could be a little high. Uh, but uh, what I was figuring on some, I think we need to discuss that before we go much further in this meeting where some of the salaries are quite a bit higher. So I think we need to get this figured out. <laughs> before we go any further in this meeting. I guess my thing is why? What did we already spend on uh, the new insurance that we provide for everybody? <coughs> what percentage would that be? Provision and then only. I think the 20% was supposed to cover that. But I can't remember, but I know that what Ryan said is what we saved from the prior year in insurance, there was enough left in the budget to cover the vision and dental, correct? Mm -hmm. That's my understanding. So, and I my, my thinking was, because Ryan was here the day we were talking about it, that if we put in 20%, that also covered the vision and the dental. Yeah, it would, yes. Yeah. I think you're right, Deb, that that 20% is mm -hmm. going to cover any increase that... Yeah, I, I believe that's the way we talked. No. But in answer to what Stubby said is, I guess, 
if I would have to know, are, are you going to talk some specific salaries, or, or that's what, whose is higher that needs to, that's my question. Or if you don't want to say, that's fine, that's just my question. No, I think we all know it. Josh, you know what it is. It's the jail and sheriff department that the salaries are quite a bit higher than everybody else's. I guess I would want to know why. through this a, a few years ago and and uh, I know what the result was. I think we everybody knows what the result was. So I don't know how we can treat treat anybody any different. <clears throat> see the figure there and that's considerably a lot. I don't know what, what the rest of you say. Nobody's saying a word, but <laughs> well, up over a hundred thousand dollars in one year is pretty excessive. Five percent from last year's budget would be eight thousand and you're asking for hundred and five thousand. My next question would be, uh, I hate to ask everybody, but where does all this money come from? Exactly. Believe you me, I know where it comes from because I, I listened to it for months on end. Mm -hmm. What, how big an increase did you put in, Josh? What percentage? I'm trying to figure that out now. It's about eighty percent. I don't have it in front of me, but uh, Ryan had it on a spreadsheet. Well, call me wrong, but I, in my figures, I call it sixty-five percent. I don't think it was sixty-five percent. Uh, are you talking? Jail or sheriff? Or the, sheriff the sheriff's department salary. The sheriff's department salary. That, that, that would be 65%. Unless my calculator is lying to me, and I don't think so. I did it numerous times. And it's no different than the, the jail department. That's 70%. <laughs> Just for the salary. Now, if I'm doing it wrong, then I would I would want somebody to, to show me how to do it different because I've done everybody else's jabs to penny to everybody. <coughs> so and it what, figures out very easily what it is. What are what are your jailers making now? Fourteen ninety three. Starting. And what do you want to raise them to? I want uh, eighteen. Is what I put in for the budget, or what he was put in for the budget. For, for a jailer. For jail staff. I'm going to ask you another question yes. since you're up here, little Josh. Yeah. Now let's just let's just say this this figure would work. What possibly are you asking them other counties then? Because to me, then this should really reflect on all the other counties. Is it said ninety five dollars? Is it going to go up to like one hundred fifty dollars a day? I mean, I, I just want to know where this money's coming from. That's what I want to know. If you're requesting this, I'm hoping you've got some answer where this money's well, coming from. Well, the rate would we're looking at changing, but that's not, I'm not that's not changing right now. <laughs> I know that. I very much know that. I'm asking where the money's coming from, and, and then I don't know how how we can leave all the other departments out. They're at 5%. Yeah. 
just I'm just one person. I think that could be a little tough this year, but uh, I'm just voicing my opinion. But I don't I don't see how we can even use them figures. That's sixty five percent. If you got if you got fourteen ninety three, you're gonna give them a nine dollars and seventy cent increase. So they're gonna to go to twenty four dollars and sixty three cents an hour. At sixty five percent. You you no, figure it out no, how you no, get no. any different team. No. no. And you figure it out. Because I, I can't figure it out. That's that's what I when I do the math on it, I do everybody's the same and everybody's works out perfect, except when I come to the jail department and the sheriff department. That's where I'm getting that percent. I don't know how else to do it then. Somebody let me explain it then. Where did your people start, Penny? Like a uh, motor grader operator or My motor grader operators are at 1835 an hour right now. And that's with 39 years of experience. Plus, plus the... And my truck drivers are 1832, I believe, because everybody gets trained on everything. Uh, not necessarily motor graders, but we try to Intertrained everybody, so they're all right in that 1830 to 35 range. Plus the uh, longevity pay. Yes. What's the starting salary if you come in just right off the street, Penny? It'd be 50 cents less than that, so it'd be 17 something. We're asking the people that work for work, but people work in the highway department for starting 17.50, and we're asking people starting jail for 14. Where would you rather work? Whatever, whatever you want to do. I guess that's how I look at it. The same thing you do. What you're not, you're going to do whatever you want to do. I mean, that's. I guess that's not how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it being fair about this. That's how, I, that's how I'm looking at. It. I don't see why our jail staff should be less than any other staff we have. And believe me, I know about taxes. There's very few in the county that pay one night. And you're very possible could be right. I, I don't go look. So, but I, I don't care how you look. That's still not. You still. We still got to play this fair. The math I put to it is what twenty percent. Twenty to twenty-one. I'm just figuring out how I figured everybody else's, so I don't know. That's how fourteen eighty-three to eighteen. Around twenty. What about yours? What was your Minus salary increase? Twenty-three percent. Which was would put you same? making more than the highway superintendent and the county auditor and everybody else. And you've been here two years. Okay. Oh. This, was this with the same number of employees or did you factor in additional employees, Josh, when you calculated? I think that may be where some of your numbers are up. I don't know. But, I don't I don't know. But I mean that one just do the math with it. Uh, I'm sure you're right. I, I just didn't know if I left the same or the um, just left the same amount of overtime in there. Uh, factored in one one position and it looks like twenty four thousand for for increases on the sheriff's office side. So that would include one more deputy within that, yeah. Okay, so your staff would increase by one. Which is, I think yeah, that's a group. Yeah, yeah that's what are your twenty percent by the hour um, or the so. His budget sure. has that it. That's where I think the twenty or whatever percent they use is right. His budget includes one more employee, adding an employee. Yeah, well, I, I think that's where the. Okay, well, and you you could be right. Then somebody <coughs> convinced me that because how can I do pennies? She's got a lot of employees. I I don't even factor into it. Go, go sit at a calculator, and pull pennies up. Do her last year's salary budget times five percent, and I will bet money on it that you're going to be within fifty cents. Oh, I think. I'm so thinking how that. how else can I figure Josh's budget if I if I don't use that? You have to create one more position. Then it comes down. To I'm not saying that that your numbers are wrong. I'm just saying is that he factored his in adding an additional employee in the sheriff's office. So that's how so it you'd came have out. to take off whatever he added per hour times 2080, and take away that one position, then add the whatever percentage. And that's how you calculate that, which is probably that 20 percent. 
That 20% was just based off of one employee. I used Travis's wage on that one. <coughs> or the 14 and 3. Then, but how do you how do you treat that fair? How do you how do you treat the rest of these people 39 years? Tommy been there two years and you make more than her. Something, 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 something just totally wrong here. Plus the vehicle, plus overtime every paycheck. How many deputies do you need? I put in for one. So that would put it up to six deputies then? No. In the sheriff's office? Yeah. Three. Two. I've got two now. What about Aaron? He drives a car back and forth every day. Aaron's got a car every day. Mm -hmm. Justin's got a car every day. He got Justin, Aaron, Travis. Carrie and Don Connect. You got five already in there. Two of them are, yep. Don is part time. I mean, he doesn't get any more part time than, I mean. I'm still saying you got five already, and now you want to add one more, so that's six. Mm -hmm. But doesn't Aaron do his 40 hours a week over in the jail? He's a jail employee, so is Justin. So why does he get to drive the car? Because he does a lot of transports. You know, if, if you take Josh's 24 hours a day, think of this for a minute. 24 hours a day times seven days a week, and you don't want to pay any overtime, and he has three people in count, counting himself, Carrie, Travis, and Josh, <coughs> and they each say they each work 40 hours a week. If you take that away, there's 48 hours left. So you either have to pay 48 hours of overtime every week to somebody or what 48 hours left of 24 times 7 should tell you right there that you're short a position in that office. If you have 48 hours left by not paying any overtime, you either need to pay overtime or you need to have another person and then you're still going to have 8 hours that somebody has to pick up. Or you have 48 hours there where there's no law enforcement coverage in the county for a week. You know, 48 hours out of the week. Including highway patrol, Mobridge PD, No, but just including parts. sheriff's office. Then how can Campbell County do it with one or two deputies? I don't know three. about Campbell County. We got sheriff and two. Okay. And I mean, I don't even know. I don't. I mean, I'm not saying any particular county. I'm just saying. 24 times 7, and you have three people working eight hours a day to not pay overtime, it leaves I'm just 48 not to burn open my people hours. Out. I guess that's why I put it in there. I mean, it is, I mean, it, to me it does figure out, but it it comes down to what you guys want and are going to prove. But I just don't want to burn my people out. I have a question. You said that Aaron drives the car because he does a lot of transports? Mm -hmm. Or does he not know he's doing these transports beforehand? Where he could come over and get the car? Because all of us would like a car, and he's never paid out of the sheriff's budget. Sometimes he, sometimes no. He well, when know. he's doing these things, driving the, the sheriff's car, don't you think that he should be paid out of the sheriff's budget? Why are you questioning about operations, Becky? I'm questioning you about what budget you're, we're paying people salaries out of. I decide what they do. Right. And that's part of the jail, his jail responsibility is doing medical transports. And so. inmate transports. <coughs> I mean, I can I can totally shut that off. If that's well, I'm just asking no. because I've oh, talked to you minute. about it before. If that's that what if he's they doing like sheriff, do, deputy sheriff stuff, he should be paid out of there. Just split his hours is all. That's all I'm talking about and addressing. I mean, I can I can certainly do that, but it's not a. I guess that's what it, that's what their job is, and right now there's no training, so yeah. I've I put people through training. I hired one in. It's like you asked me earlier, Scott. They um, they come in with more training. I mean, they that's I couldn't even. She's worked here. She had to work here a year before I could even deputize her. And it's I'm not I'm I'm just not supposed to look at that. Is that what you're saying? No, but I'm looking at I'm just looking at the county. 
if, if we keep getting more deputies and they all need cars, help. I mean, that's just one thing. I mean, wh where does a guy draw the line at? I mean, that how many does guy need? And how many, what are you going to do? Get everybody? Then I think it's only fair that we, hell, we just buy cars for everybody that's a, a deputy or the head honcho no. in, this, in this courthouse. I mean, I'll, I don't know how else to look at it. I mean, that's a little extreme, but how, how do you treat everybody fair? I, I thought that's what we do. We, we're trying to treat people fair and equal up here. We went through this a couple of years ago, and we're here again right now. How do I, can you help me out then, how, how do I stay, stay competitive and keep my employees in, from leaving? Truthfully, I guess if somebody's going to leave, they're going to leave. If somebody's not happy, I, I don't think that this is the worst job in the world. I'm not saying it's the greatest, but if that's, if that's what you choose, uh, to me, I mean, we can only offer so much. How else? How else can you look at that? If we can, we we got to still come up with this money. Well, if somebody can wave a wand, I mean, eventually that's going to run out. We can only there's only so much money there. And unless I'm looking at this totally wrong, well, there, there's only X amount of hours. I guess this is this. I mean, I'm glad I'm up here right now because I'm the only one that's going to be called up here. I'll guarantee it. Us in the jail. We're the first ones to take cuts, always. And that's that's fine. I just I know how you guys sit on public safety. Then, what cut did you take last year? What's that? What cut did you take last year? You cut several things out of my budget, mm -hmm. but that's neither here nor there. On the employee side, um, I never asked for any last year. On the employee, we we covered overtime, but that was it. Thinking having a car to drive back and forth every day is a hell of a benefit too. Actually, there is a, a state form or state formula to figure out what that's actually worth. And correct me if I'm wrong, but they could be classified as part of their wages to drive that back and forth, and they would have to pay taxes on that also. When I first come here, the first year we talked about budget, Ryan encouraged us to give the jail staff a dollar an hour raise for the next several years. And we got it the first year, and that was it. We want to be fair. Let's pay all our county employees the same wage, whether, whether they're in the jail or, or where they're at. We want to talk about being fair. I don't see how it's fair, and I'm not saying Penny's crew is overpaid. No way. But I don't think it's fair to pay her crew $18 an hour and jail staff 14 And, you my, and my staff 15 What's that? My staff gets paid 15 19 an hour. Yes, I don't know no. where's the answer, you know? So we're supposed to raise it's, everybody to $25? No, I'm just saying that at some point, there probably is some distinction that has to be made based on what the job is. I'm not saying Penny's guys are overpaid either. I'm not saying that in any way, shape, or form. I don't know that I would work over in the jail for $15 an hour. You know what I'm saying? By the same token, now I'm going to stick up for myself. I make about four, three or four thousand dollars less than most of the other the other officials up here. I think my job is probably as hard as the others, and that's been ongoing for many years. So every time we get a percentage adjustment, I just fall further behind.
agree with Scott. Who's going to pay for it? Obviously, if they're hired now, they didn't have a problem with the wage when they was hired. When I hire somebody, I tell them what the starting wage is. If they don't like it, they, don't, they say, okay, I need more than that. Okay, then don't work there. Better figure in what the benefits are costing us too. Can I explain that to him? How, how big benefits are? Becky, do you have a, a dollar per hour figure for current benefits? No, because everybody's are different. But what's the average loaded cost per year? Do you have a ballpark on that? We figured that. that out. Well, the health insurance thirteen thousand. State retirement, and all of that. Oh. That was I don't about have 24. That sheet that, I was thinking 24, 25, something like that. It's what we factor, usually factor in for loaded costs, about 25,000. Mm -hmm. I would just say that we, let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Do you think that this would just go over really good? <laughs> you don't think we're going to hear anything? You think every other department's going to say, it's all right, we understand. Don't believe that for one second. Bet you this, we will have no workers out there at the next meeting. I wouldn't have a clue why, why we would. I would say this room would be packed full of each and every one I'm looking at right now. Because if we, if we wouldn't, there'd be something radically wrong. If the benefits are worth $25,000 a year per person, that amounts to approximately $12 an hour. So I would imagine somewhere between $10 and $12 an hour is what your benefits are. Okay, so they're getting 14. It gets lower than that, Deb. It's been my, mm -hmm. yeah. Just divide. 2084 into 2080. I'd say 25,000 is a good number. That's 12,000. That's where I got the 12. And I'm, I'm going to say something again. Now tell me, and I, and, I, and I said I brought it up right at the beginning of the meeting about the state. Now really, here we're, we're trying to get whatever the figure is you guys are talking about, 20 some percent. Some are asking five. State gets a goose egg. Now tell me this. Why, why, why would all them state guys, why wouldn't they come here to work at the county? It's obvious. Can't be real good working at the state because they don't get no raise. And I know for a fact, I can figure in exactly how many nothing they got for a lot of years. Pretty sure that I can make that phone call and know that in about two minutes. I know I'm that just every, saying that. Every so year just, that they got nothing, we got 3%. That's right. I know that. Yep. What's CPI year? this year, Becky? One. One. Yep. So, and that's a number that goes against your taxes too. Your CPI and your growth. One point seven eight, wasn't it? Yeah. So you can you can raise your taxes by growth mm. CPI plus growth. And so that's all you can, I mean, you can ask for as much money as you want. But right now, I think, what was growth, 0.78? So 1.78% dollars is all you can ask for. And those 1.78 dollars, all that has to be divvied amongst all the costs in the county. Because by law, unless you opt out, that's all you can raise your dollar amount. So that's important to know too. So if you're only going to be able to raise your dollar amount by 1.78, then you're going to have to adjust everywhere in your budget as to where you spend it. Becky, did you um, 
when you did your, uh, <coughs> are we going to come in under budget if we keep the dollar? I mean, how much over are we, like Deb's saying is? is oh, it's going to be over right now. I did not um, figure the provisional budget that before this meeting because there was no decisions made. No, but what I'm, I'm saying, though, is, is Deb is saying the most we can raise is 1.78. Mm -hmm. So, the estimates would this be in. in excess of what the current amount collected plus 1.78? Does this budget go over that, or don't know? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it, we already. It, it has. Last year we had to use how much cash applied? Was it even 1.9 just for the general fund cash applied? So that's point nine million. Mm -hmm. And that's because the budgets requested more than you could request, right? right. That's because the, the expenses are coming that much more than the revenue. So you're saying that 1.9, we would have had to cut all the budgets a lot in order to get rid of that 1.9 in order to not use cash reserves. Mm -hmm. If we were going to try to make a break-even budget, then we wouldn't be able to use those cash reserves. Well, there's some some of the expenses that are built in that that we do get grants for and things like that, but we never estimate revenue for a grant in case it doesn't happen. But that's the grants aren't cash reserves, right? The cash reserves are what it would offset what that amount had to be if we could build them in. I mean, if it's a guaranteed every year, yes, I build it in. But if it's, well, we're going to spend this much and we're counting on this grant to offset it, we don't do that. So, Penny's project, um, I don't think I built that in. Mm -hmm. we, we built it into the estimated revenue? Oh, no. no. I don't think I did. <coughs> um, And that was an expense of how much? A little over 600000 Yeah, but that's the road and bridge fund. That's I was talking about the general fund with the 1.9. road and bridge but, doesn't come out of general. Right, so that's a little different <coughs> fund. But I'm just saying that, you know, until we actually receive the dollars, we usually don't estimate the revenue because that could get you in a lot of trouble. So For ideally the goal would be to try to keep your budget requests. <laughs> So you didn't have to use that much cash reserves. Yeah, I see. Um, in 15, there was 528,000. In 16, it was 1.2 million. In 17, it was 1.9 million. Well, if you keep doing that, you're going to run out of money real fast. <laughs> then when you don't have any more cash reserves, then you don't have any choice. Correct? You have to do an opt out. Or spend less money. Right. But you can't ever decrease a salary. Well, for elected, I don't know, for appointed or not. I'm sure. Once it's sure. to a certain amount, you can't ever decrease it. No, no, because elected officials are set by statute, but nobody else's is. I don't know. Can you decrease just anybody's salary? I think you probably can in order to comply with your budget. Yeah. I think it's a, but then it have to be. Commission decides, approves, and goes from there. Um, and I'm pretty sure you're not going to keep employees by taking some of their salary away. I don't know why we'd want to get into that predicament. I think we better use our heads no. real good and not get in a predicament like that. I know my budget increase this year was 0 0.9523 for this year, less than 1%. And here's another thing that we all have to think of is we are we are basically an agricultural county. This is not pretty out there. So whether you think it makes a difference or not, it does on how people react to what you're asking for because they're not getting nothing.
my opinion is to give three percent across the board. And in your case, Josh, that includes not hiring another deputy. my opinion. We're just talking to the sheriff's side only, not the jail side for right now. So you're talking about 3% across the board on well, salary. We're talking uh, salary. Yeah, I mean, for, for total, for everybody in the county, 3% across the board. But, okay, let's just stop there. We'll just go 3% across the board for all county employees. That's a whole lot better than zero. I don't think Josh's request for one more employee is out of line because we're burning those guys out right now with the amount of work that we're going to have them do. And if we had another guy... Let's just stay with the countywide deal right now for... I would say somewhere between 2 and 3%. What's the difference? Go two and a half percent. I don't care. We got to get our spending under control soon. Are you making that into motion, Kevin? What are you doing? What do you think? Two, two and a half, or three percent? He hasn't made a motion yet, he's just saying what he thinks. But then, Scott, that doesn't address what you said was your main concern. That there's still inequalities in the, in the system. So if we just give everybody a flat percent, that doesn't address that at all. I guess I just don't understand how, how you think that you can, we can put some workers up give this huge raise. I, I guess I'm not understanding this, Jim. How, how, I, don't know how, how I don't know how you can even imagine we're fair when we're paying jail staff 14 and, and weight operators 18 or 19. Weight operators aren't 24-7. They don't put in overtime or very little. And I'm not saying 10 of these guys are overpaid. No way. And they do an excellent job. And so does our jail staff at $14 an hour versus 18. How do you how do you explain that being fair? It's just that occupation. What else are you gonna say? Fourteen ninety three figured twelve dollars an hour for benefits. The same with pennies. That's twenty some but twenty twenty seven dollars an hour. If you wanna figure it well, that way. The fourteen ninety three is for three months because Josh sets them out starts them out on a probation wage where my office is fifteen nineteen because we don't increase their pay after three months. But is I don't what I think isn't Ryan the isn't it Ryan that did that um, study about how we compared the same positions in other counties like the Jailers' positions, the office positions, the you know. And you did some of that too, didn't you, Becky? The uh, ACOG just sent us out. The ACOG sent out a new one. That's where Ryan got his numbers from. And so maybe that's where Josh got the information when he talks about being competitive. I don't think I not don't think he's talking about in the county. I think he's talking about in the field of work. That's correct. <coughs> There are many jailers though that make that 15 something anymore because after they're certified and you know there's step increases in your, in your system. Gwen, Eddie, Allie, Leandra, Cindy. 
A lot of them are pushing where a lot of them are pushing where Travis is at right now and like at 19, 19 and he's a he's a road guy. He's a road deputy. So for general staff. So most of them are already at 19. No. Can we get a copy of that so we can see where they're at? Or? Yeah. And these figures on here right now, because I redid them, are at 5%. But um, you want to have to take a copy of that for, for the commission, please. But you know, Jim, just to, to talk about what you just said a second ago, uh, whether or not we're just using Kenny's workers to a, to a jailer or not, uh, can you honestly say that, that a road grade operator, just using that for example, isn't getting paid more anywhere than a jailer? My guess is they are. I'd almost bet you go to any construction outfit, and I'll bet you 100 to 1 that every every guy, blade, blade operator, excavator, I, I'll bet there ain't even no comparison to the law. I'll, I'll bet money on it. I did not call Tommy. His nephew just started pending in county about six months ago, and I thought he said he was at 21. Hell, I, I, I know for a fact just to run an excavator, I, I, go to, I could drive over to Minnesota, there's not a doubt in my mind I'd get $60 an hour. Not a question about it. Not to own it or nothing, just to sit in there and run the controls. <laughs> There's no question about it. I'm not saying they're overpaid. No way. I'm no not way. saying they are either. I'm but just saying I'm, that. What I'm saying is it's hard for me to justify paying them $18 an hour and our jail staff 15 just for the liability difference. The, but then I'm going to go the right back. I'm going to go right back to that too again. It's what you choose for an occupation. And I'm not saying that that person over there should get paid more than than the law. That's how it is here. I, my guess is it's, it's probably that way a lot of places. But I, I don't I don't see how in anybody's mind that we can sit here. I've never, I guess I don't know the answer to that either. I, I've never compared them to equipment I, operators, I guess. But I don't see how we could sit here and and give, let's say my figure's wrong, but let's say the 20, 25, 25%, let's just say that. Thank you. How could, how could possibly we do that? Like I said, we want to have, let's, let's, let's pull that one out. Let's see how many workers we got. In the county, my guess is you ain't gonna have many. That would be my guess. No, this is mine. I don't have what page is yours on? What page is the sheriff's on? Sheriff's is on 20, uh, 22. Another thing too that nobody takes into consideration, I don't agree with it, but do you see anybody else getting overtime? I don't, I, I, that's a practice I think nobody should practice. But you don't see any, if a Penny had guys, we're gonna, I'm gonna pick on Penny, but if, they, if he has guys all of a sudden they start overtime, 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 <laughs> I'll bet you something would get said in here. Get said before that because I've got said three years ago. But like what I what I told you with 
the 24-7 and 48 extra hours. What are you going to do with that? If you don't hire another person, those hours have to be covered. Then what do you do? And I, there's a magic number. I don't know what it is. But at some point, you are better off paying overtime than you are hiring another person. So it's got to be somewhere in that, what does that benefit cost you? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, if, you, if you're paying overtime to the extent that you're now over that benefit, maybe you do need another position. But if you're staying under that, it's, it's cheaper for the county to not have to pay another benefit package and pay somebody some overtime. But I don't know where that split is. There's a, there's a break there where it's not good budgeting, but there's a place where overtime is your cheaper. If you have the hours and they have to be filled, sometimes overtime is cheaper than a new, another position. You're not hiring young people that want to put in a lot of overtime right now. They don't want to put in 20 hours a week overtime. When Brad gave us a report, what do you say, 1,550 hours short of covering the hours with uh, vacation time in the jail, and we're short of covering with two people on staff. How are you going to get away from overtime? I thought we was talking about all departments are what we're going to pay them. We're, we're getting off track here. I, I think, why don't we set the, the deal for, for all departments, then we can go back and individualize this one. My opinion. I'll make a motion that we set it at 3% throughout the county. 3% raise. Is there a second on that? I'll second it. Any discussion? Yeah. I make exponentially more than all the other employees, so I don't want to be included in that 3% raise. I want my salary to stay the same. I think that's very fair. Um, and plus, I'm going to be asking for Brenda's wage to be increased up to where Kathy's is. So just, I don't want my wage increased. I want my wage to stay the same. I'm very happy with what I get paid. Okay. And as you can tell by my sheet, I didn't put myself in there either. And I'm not trying to be a martyr or anything. I'm just saying is I, attorneys get paid pretty good, and I'm not complaining. So. Can we turn the air conditioner on? Yes. It's very hot in here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't going to say anything, but thanks. <laughs> it's warmer up here. I'm sitting here sweating. We can pass the antiperspirant <laughs> around for everybody. Get it under our Everybody get a copy of it. Sorry. I'm hot. Okay. I just want to make sure we got one. Okay, motion has been made and seconded for 3%. Salary increase. Is there any more discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Nay. So it's time to go. I would just as soon make a motion to end this meeting because I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here all day long and we're going to do this shit. Excuse my French, but then let's just end this meeting. We'll reschedule it. I'm not going to sit here all day wasting my time. We're going to sit here like this. Is that a motion? Damn right it is. Okay. Oh, if you made a motion, I'll wait for the discussion. Oh, right. Okay, motion has been made in a second to adjourn. Any discussion? The one thing that you could do is it sounds like the whole big thing is revolving around 
pay increases, but I think you could go through everybody else's budget and approve all those other portions, like, and then you narrowed it down to the next hearing is you're going to argue about, or not argue, that's a bad term, I apologize. Um, you're going to discuss salaries and, and things like that. But, you know, you could go through the provisional budgets and say, yeah, we don't have a problem. Let's just use page one, okay? We don't have a problem with these other line items. That way, at least you're narrowing it down for Becky. She's only got certain things that she's going to have to modify. And that other portion, portions have been approved. I also think that we should probably break for lunch because tensions are running a little high. Um, and maybe come back and see if we can get some of this. Because I'm telling you right now is, is if we, and, that, and I understand Scott's position 100%, but we still need to get some of this done. Um, then Becky's going to be under a time crunch. But I do think that we need a break no matter what. Um, whether it's for an hour or whether it's for five days. I'll second that. But that's, that's what I have just to say for discussion. But there are some things that if we can maintain our composure that we can probably get through just to I get that stuff wait done. until we get a full quorum yeah. just so we don't have to deal with this. I'm not disputing the 3%. Sheriff's office. I, I mean, I don't know if Kevin made the motion against it because he wanted to want to look at jail separately. Is my understanding the right, Kevin? Yep. Okay. I'm not disputing that three percent. So I don't want you guys thinking that. That's all I had to say. I personally think 3% is a little high for the rest, for all the county employees. But I think it should be higher for the jail employees. Our discussion was on whether we're going to adjourn. Yeah. Right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, but yeah, our discussion is whether we're going to adjourn to a later date until we get a full quorum. Well, right now, there's a motion made by Commissioner Schilling to adjourn. It's been seconded. Adjourn and reschedule. Yes. Well, one thing I'm going to say, though. I don't have a problem with what you said, Jamie, but can you really look past that salary up there and do the rest? That's I don't my know. question. I, I don't know. I, I don't have that answer. Uh, okay, any other discussion on the journey? Okay, we're going to adjourn. What day do you want to have this at? Kevin, can, can you? look back and can we do the rest of this stuff? Not, I'll tell you what. I, Not without a full quorum. We still need a vote on, the, on your motion. I'm just saying. We have a vote to adjourn. Vote to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Jim? Nay. Scott? Huh? How long are we adjourning for? Right now it's to, to adjourn and reschedule is the current motion. So that would be at a later date. Is, isn't that kind of how you... I did, it? but I'm just, that's when I asked you that question about if we can look past that. And I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. So I'm not... This is not my forte as far as budgeting and that type of stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I can legally say it or not, but I, I, I will do that. But if and we even have one thing, I'm going to stop. I, I'll make the motion to adjourn, and we will reschedule. I would just soon get some of this stuff done. But I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and two, 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 two. I'm going to vote nay. So. So we have a tie on, on a journey? <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest maybe, I would, yeah we do, but I would suggest maybe that the chair entertain a motion to break for lunch, lunch. Yes. we come hour. back in one hour and then discuss what you're going to do. I think everyone needs a break. It's hot in here, um, tensions are running high, 
That's my suggestion. Okay, I'll make them. I'll have that as a motion. Can I have a? I'll make that motion. And a second to that. Second. Okay, come back at one o'clock. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
takes about three years on the ones that they appeal to come to completion. So we're still arguing on 2014. Do we have anything older than 2014, Brenda? Um, yes, one, but I haven't heard anything. It would be... Um, Is that the person who we didn't know where he lived? Where we had the deposition here yeah. in Mobridge, yeah. yes. So. Um, it, but I haven't heard anything more, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe after our last letter we comprised and sent to him that uh, um, the consensus is that. Because he did appeal two denials from the from the county commission, that, yes, and we're going to end up litigating those. But I don't see anything. I don't anticipate unless something big comes up quickly. We're not going to. Where it's just blatantly obvious that we have to cover it. We're not going to exceed that budget anywhere near it, so, which is a good problem to have. That's fine. Can you give them through this one? Or? No, we're just going through them. Okay. There's no motions that need to be made. And the other one was 40? 40. 44. 44. I know we're still talking about um, the salary, but I did make a little note. I just want you to understand that I, I figured it at about 20 hours that the wage that I'm making right now, um, and then for half a year. And uh, you know that we probably won't know that until we do interviewing and if we hire somebody who maybe has a four year degree and the advisory board decides to spend a little more, on that salary could increase. Um, That's going to be paid partially by Campbell. Commission. I only have our half in here. Okay. Only our half. That's all I put in here was our half because we'll be recouping that other half. So I, I don't know if I did that wrong, Becky. Should I put it the whole put the whole one in here? I'll look into that. Okay. However you want to do that. That's why I made note and wanted you guys to know that. Um, our extension insurance is staying the same. Our services and fees, this is money where we're going to get, um, we haven't spent any of this money yet. Um, and that was when we were connected with uh, SDSU for that youth programmer, uh, program advisor position at one quarter time, nine hours a week. Um, I did leave $300 in there that you could take out if you wanted to. That was just a little buffer in case there was services and fees and something new that would be added being as we are connected to SDSU but it's a county run um, position now so I didn't know if there would be anything in there that we would have to do. Um, rental stayed the same at 300 repairs maintenance 75 I did up our extension flies to 2500 um, thinking that maybe there would be some new equipment in the office if we needed to, but you could drop that back down to 2100 That would be fine. Um, travel is about 2000 I kept that the same. Um, right now, we've been lucky. We haven't ever used all of it, but like I said, when I go to State Fair, I stay with a friend at the cost of the county. It's just my meals and my um, day's wages, and um, driving down there is all that I'm, you know, the county's being charged for there. And that could change a little bit um, once a youth program advisor is taken on board. Um, and our utilities is $600. Right now we've only spent $192.50. Um, that, that could maybe drop down a little bit. Basically what happens is the utilities, from phone, and every and internet service that I have gets split between core relief and uh, extension. So that's that's all I have. If you have any questions, that's kind of how the money is. And you know that usually if the extension supplies, you'll get some back. Um, but I always like to have that little bit in there just in case. Uh, the one year I used the most was 2015, but uh, porta potties were in there. And then there was also, I believe, um, we have the new computer. And at the very end of the year, we had to have the new printer with the different capabilities um, to be able to do what Jamie needed done and, and stuff. And that printer was actually split three ways because I had to have it able to do that. So um, that's kind of where I said, hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad, too much. 
take more down the stairs. I am going to, but right now I'm going to be honest. My hair is so on fire. It's just really been tough. But for next year. I'm hoping after we get to to um, achievement days, hiring a, a, a youth program advisor and maybe state fair, I'm hoping by fall I can get that done because I already have the stuff I want to put on it. I just, I just, for lack of time, and I'm just trying to stay with the budget, try and keep it at that 40 hours. I've been successful some weeks, and other weeks I'm not so successful. So, you know. I'm doing my best. You're doing good. Great, thanks. Okay, Thank great. Thank you. Fast and furious. I just put that's for that's not health insurance um, I just put an average based on the previous years services and fees I raised 500 just because of the amount expended in 2016 exceeded the 15,000 that we have budgeted plus the amount expended so far was 11,252 um, Publishing, I put it 9,000. That possibly should be increased to 10,000. But last year we, only, we spent on 9,000, so that one's tough because we don't know what we're going to need to publish. Um, repairs and maintenance, I put at 500. Supplies, I put at 4,000. Because if you look at amount expended so far this year is 1100 Last year was 7100 Travel. So high last year on that. Um, Is it okay? I don't have to. I can go run it. Uh, that's okay. Right. Travel, put it six thousand and utilities seven hundred. Anybody see any changes? been using that but the way we have to do it in our system now it's not it doesn't print on here it doesn't show that it was expended in the last three years but it's just the way that the system the entries are done now different um, the, the huge expense last year for commissioner supplies was um, Purchasing the property from James Brown. That was by a thousand. That's all we need to buy that. We'll be proving it. So. That could maybe come down some, but the expense so far this year, like I said, was 1100 So if you want, we could change that to 3000 or commissioner supplies. We should move it down a little bit. 2500 whatever you guys want. 3500 
from the travel. I mean, do we really need to be up at 6,000? I mean, there shouldn't really be much going on the rest of the year. Yeah. Convention out rapid. It's going to be quite an expense with everybody's mileage and everybody's lodging. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Election. Basically, put in there what's needed. Um, increase the supplies a little, but it is going to be a bigger election this year because we have more local races than the last election. So with different races and different precincts, like commissioners and things like that, that's more ballots and those are pretty expensive. So the wages comes out of services and fees? The, the election workers, yes. Also, some things I have to have done for it, not just wages. Reports I received from them. My salary from budget year to next year is different because I have a part-time employee all year during election years. So if you look at like amount expended in 16, it's more than what I have budgeted for this year. Because I have a, so that that amount is my salary plus my full-time plus my part-time with a five percent increase. Services and fees. I just went based on the last three years. Stay right in that area. Publishing, that's what I did there too. Um, rentals went up a little bit. because uh, we are having some major computer problems in my office. Ryan, <coughs> Ryan, I talked to Ryan about it. He thinks that my computer should be replaced. I don't agree, but it's getting hard to deal with. It's very, very, very slow. Three to four years is about the max life on yeah. With new software, wouldn't you say, Deb and oh, yeah. Nyla? Once you get past four years, your computer is pretty obsolete pretty fast. And the amount expended currently was because of having to resend out people's amounts to them for taxes. That, that's why it's so much so far in 2017, so that's not normal, not a normal expense. Travel, I kept the same. Salary and insurance months, since we've had that discussion already. You just increase everything by 5%. By 5%. And the health insurance, I only went 16%. Some of it was due to that email we got, and some of it is because we didn't have as much expense as last year. So I lowered it a little bit for that. Service and fees, I increased about 100 our software contract goes up a little bit. Publishing, I did increase because 
I'm running more ads for treasures, the check deeds. So that's costing a little bit more. Rentals are left the same. Repairs and maintenance, I uh, you know, increase that to 600 because it looks like I've been spending that every year. Supplies, we're going to need a new computer also, so I increase that by 500 from last year. License I left the same. The travel, I just raised it by 100. I figured everything goes up a little bit. And utilities, I did leave the same at 1,200. Have any discussion on any of that? Good. Okay. Thank you. State's attorney, everybody there. Uh, basically, on the top, like I said, is um, starting January 1st of 2018, I would like Brenda's portion that she does under the state's attorneys to be her salary the same as Kathy. I think that's fair. Brenda's been working for me for four years uh, on the state's attorney side. So. Uh, I didn't include a pay raise, like I said, for myself. So that's a reflection of around that 5%. Or she had no more with the raise to. What does Kathy make? I think she's at 15. I don't know what she makes now. 16.93. Is what Kathy's at. Mm -hmm. So we, and what's Brenda right now, 15.90? 15.19 with all the other ones. So on the 55% that she works for the state's attorney, I want to have her wage at that. And then the rest would be at the lower range. But I think that's fair. Since Kathy and you, she do a lot of the same stuff and she's very knowledgeable and keeps the state's attorney's office from spending tons of money on, especially poor relief. She's, and she helps out the sheriff's office a lot too on coding and medicals. But Everything else, if you look at the health insurance, is going to double because I am now retired from the National Guard. So before I was not drawing off the county insurance, I was paying out of my own pocket, where now I'm going to be drawing the county insurance. And it'll be a family policy, so that's why it's almost doubled. To let you know, everything else has stayed on the personal services. Everything is the same until you get down to supplies. I just increased that by $1,500, um, and there was really no rationale, just the cost of doing business. Everything else has stayed the same. I just kept the numbers the same. So on the bottom, personal services, the only thing that I went up on was $1,500 on supplies. And you can see that number fluctuates quite a bit. We should not need to spend over that amount because our computers are two years old, So and our printers are two years old, so we shouldn't have any forbidding something going bad, we shouldn't have any big expenditure on that as far as a new computer or printer, but you never know when that goes out. So so realistically, the, the big increases are up on the salary and insurance, especially because I'm going back on, or going on the county insurance, where I wasn't before. I was just paying out of pocket. So my wife could be covered and it's much cheaper, so. Any questions on that? Is that uh, court point attorney? Yes. Um, you can put whatever amount you have on there right now uh, for 2017. We're way below our amounts. We haven't had any significant jury trials, except I don't know if you've gotten any big bills in for court point attorney lately. Well, we get them about once a month. This is how far through the year is that? Thirty-eight thousand. It's not half. Okay, so we're probably on track to spend at ninety thousand on court appointed attorney fees. So we just increased it again. The cost of doing business is basically uh, and if we have any significant jury trials then that cost is gonna go up, but we haven't any had anything significant this year so far. So we even had a jury trial so far this year. Do we have one? Or not? <coughs> 
you figure if you have a jury trial, it's going to be a court appointed attorney, it's going to be between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. So we try and keep those from going to trial. We haven't got our annual bill yet from that one person. That appeals every year. Oh. Last name is with uh, is in currently in prison. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That person will be out of prison within six months, so hopefully that will not be a huge bill anymore. So. Do you think that that in the near future or sometime that we we should have another attorney as a court appointment attorney? Um, a contracting one, you know, basically right now, 90% of our court appointed attorney is Jen Coleman and uh, Mark Kimchi. And I think from what I've seen, Becky has probably seen more, I think they're very reasonable on their billing, to be honest. Do you think so? Yeah. And they bill at $100 an hour which is lower than what you would normally bill on a, uh, if it was a private client. So I don't know how charge that low anymore. But uh, the only problem when you get into that court appointed attorney is well, what are we going to pay him and how are we going to deal with conflicts? Because you do have a lot of cases where you have more than one defendant. Um, where you would have to hire, say you have three people that break in. We had a burglary over at the uh, one of the liquor stores in Mold Bridge. Three guys broke a window out, went in, stole a bunch of stuff, uh, got caught, and they have each have their own attorney because they're all charged with grand theft. Um, so you have three different court-appointed attorneys because there's a conflict. You can't have the same person representing unless those people waive that conflict. And on this type of case, they're not because... You, you have to devote all of your energy to defending your client. And if you have two defendants, how do you defend them equally the same, especially if one is willing to cooperate with law enforcement in order to get a lesser sentence so I can get a harsher sentence on someone else? So, you know, there's always that possibility. Um, you could see what. There's always that possibility. I just don't know how, what amount we would advertise it for. I'd have to do some research into how many actual hours are getting billed, stuff like that. To, um, I know Jen Coleman would not do it because she works for the Court of Plains, um, and unless she, that's all she did is court appointed attorney. Mark Crunchy is already overwhelmed doing his half of the court appointed attorney because he has a private practice plus he's state's attorney up in Campbell County. Yeah. What don't do you remember when they came in one time about some program where yeah. the, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. What was yeah. wasn't that five thousand dollars or something like that. And then <clears throat> help somebody get through college. Oh that that program is still out there where you can yeah, you, you get money to help offset your cost of law school, and then you come back here to practice. Um, I just couldn't remember what it was all about. Yeah, it's, um, it's called like the rural attorney something, where they, you get a certain amount of money, and um, but then you have to donate. Or not donate, but you have to agree to practice. Like, uh, I don't know who did that. Somebody around here did, where they gave somebody money. Well, Timberlake did that. Okay. Here we go. And so, you know, there's, it would probably be another attorney. I don't think any other attorneys are going to take on a court appointed attorney. I think they're all fairly busy. The, the rest of the ones in the county would probably be somebody from out of county or someone would move in and use that to base their practice upon. Um, as far as it would be a guaranteed paycheck, plus then they could pay their bills and do a regular practice on top of it. I just don't know how much money we would list that for. That would be something that would take some research. That's always a possibility. I think you were talking about at the convention, weren't they? All your bigger counties do court-appointed attorney's offices or contracts with certain lawyers to do court-appointed attorneys. Um, we're kind of in that 
for county five thousand people we have huge costs for court appointed attorney because we have huge numbers of people we prosecute because we have a large amount of crime. All drug and alcohol related of course. But so that's always a possibility. We can look into it if you want. What does the commission want to do? And see if there's any um, desire. Maybe there is somebody out there looking to come to Walworth County. And there, was, there was a Chase guy that was from Oakland, and he came here and talked to us. And then he got his lawyer's degree, and he's in Sioux Falls now. So. Yeah, most of the most of our attorneys are going to be between Rapid City and Sioux Falls and Pierre. Pierre has a huge number too because there's a lot of attorney jobs at the state and federal government. There's always that possibility. Okay, Child defense. That number, we are all, when I first came on as state's attorney, we had uh, on average 10 files open all the time. Right now we're at seven we're kind of on a climb back up but our abuse and neglects have not been as bad as when I first came on so we just left it the same because right now we've only spent seven thousand eight hundred dollars but I have not terminated any parental rights this year either um, we figure a termination of parental rights hearing going through the whole process is going to be at least fifteen thousand dollars on court appointed attorney because every parent needs an attorney uh, you need to hire if it's an Indian Child Welfare Act case you have to hire an Indian Child Welfare Act expert their testimony and their review of the file is going to probably be between fifteen hundred and three thousand uh, dollars then there's also an attorney for the children which is always Lisa Von Wald I don't think any of them bill outrageously we just have not terminated any parental rights and we're not intending on it but again so I left that the same. It didn't increase. Or Becky actually didn't increase it because we were low. So. But well, this will come in way under budget just because we have not terminated parental rights this year and I don't have any <coughs> cases slotted to terminate. So. Any questions on that one? Um, I think she just pretty much kept everything the same. She re reduced her repairs and maintenance by 10000 Increased supplies, though, by 10000 We had a purpose behind that, and I cannot remember right now what it was. She asked me what, where something would get paid out of. I told her it would get paid out of supplies, so... She thought it was repairs and maintenance. That's why the 10,000 got moved. I put the GIS back in there. You know, we got what we have now for Beacon is free for five years. Um, it's going to take about somewhere between sixty-five and seventy thousand to get the full mapping done. We can pay that over five years. So I that got taken out last year, so I put it back in. And then the rest of it is for fees and and I left enough in there because I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to get, be able to get Vanguard out here, so i got to be able to pay them when they come out to do those elevators. That's why that one increased. Um, the, what did I lower? I lowered the rentals just because we haven't been spending that much. Repairs and maintenance, I can go down to 2000 on that. 
Then in supplies, I can lower that. I can lower that to 95. The travel can go down to four. And then the utilities can go down to seven. And that brings it pretty close to what it, what it was. But I don't think we can keep putting that GIS off. I think we need to get that done. Jamie and I talked about it. I think it has some pretty good uses. And I don't think it's going to get it cheaper for us. And we're paying it off over five years. Five years. So it's good to, I mean, we're going to end up having to pay it sooner or later, right? Right. Okay. Um, we're bringing new forms for hers. That $175,000 one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised no one asked. Said that they. Up here. You know what that's for? Is that's for that chicken coop. Vacation and sick salary, $175,100. That's how much I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be for that chicken coop. I just coop. noticed I don't know how that got <laughs> You know what? That's a total. <laughs> I know. Of I know. That's why. It must have just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm bring it up. Away. We're just going to pass it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we decreased. <laughs> Repairs and maintenance to 5,000? Mm-hmm. Okay. Repairs and maintenance, what was it? 2,000? Yeah. 95 and 4. And then, down on the bottom, where I have major equipment, we have $5,000 in there this year. And I put that in because I have a, um, I have a printer that's, just trying to die and I haven't purchased it yet. I put it back in because I wasn't sure, but now I've decided that I'm going to replace that printer this year because it's already in budget, so that 5000 printer should come out of it. Did you get that part you missed? The 5000 under the. I'll, I'll just replace that printer this year that one that's dying because it's already in the budget to take it out for next year. Well, that would come out of supplies anyway. No, I want it to come out of equipment. Because it's not a supply. Well, that's where we take all of our computers. Then put that by out and back in supply this year. The 5,000 that's down there. Well, yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's, and the rest is like everybody else. I, it's 5% on salaries, and, but I did 20% on insurance. So, so keep in mind that those will all go down if you stay with them. You say with the three percent that we already passed, those numbers will all go down. Are you done with me? Or are you flipping on the <laughs> That's kind of a loaded question. Done. <laughs> 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 you flipped on pass. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Salaries of 5%. Um, insurance, I went down. I dropped the insurance and just military insurance now. So Casey and her husband did pick it up. So and then everything else, it pretty much left the same. It went down and traveled. Possibility of a new computer, one new computer. Do I need to do that in MP? I think, yeah. What page? That's on uh, 72. Go to page 72 also. That's also makers. Yeah. Um, new software for new recording, e recording. Um, I have a lot of research to do on it. I, um, what would be compatible with our ultra system and not. So I have no idea if it'll be something I could do this year or not. I know the previous register Adiz was hoping to have it up and running. It didn't happen, so I have a lot of research to do. I put it in there just in case with my MMP phone. Okay. 
what kind of software would that be? Well, there's a couple different ones. I mean, Simplify, I think, is a big one. I'd like to, I want to talk to other registrar deeds and see who is doing it, possibly with our same ultra program. Maybe go see how it works with their system. And that's an electronic filing electronic program for documents filing. where yes, they would actually just scan a document in and record it yeah. online to her office and the fees and everything would be, you could do it from your own office. Um, and isn't the city kind of driving that too? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, to say if I was an attorney and I uh, just did a closing, I could record all my documents, scan them into my computer, go into her software with the Walworth County Register of Deeds and record all of those documents as if they were originals right then and there. Yes. We'd have the stamp, everything on them, and then I would get all that information back. I would have to pay the bill. They've kind of already done that with court documents now. All court documents, except for abuse and neglects, um, and child uh, delinquency or chins cases, all have to be filed online. That's what we do. That's why we needed the change in the computers so Brenda could scan. Because now everything we file, scan, and it just automatically goes upstairs. They don't like get an original document. They're all trying to go paperless. Seven to eight counties that are doing it now, maybe. But, yeah. but it's coming. It will eventually have to happen. Yeah. I have to do a lot of research yet. I haven't really looked into it much yet, but I want to talk to other counties. Veteran service officer. Um, services and fees, I increased some because of the amount expended so far this year. Um, rentals, they decreased. I mean, repair, rentals is there. Repairs and maintenance, they decreased, but I went to 300 because the minute you take it all away, you'll have computer problems or something. Supplies, I increased to 1,000 just because of the fact that $500 really isn't much for an office when he's by himself. He's got a all of his paper, all of his toners. I got him the new printer this year, which is toner cartridges, which is, cost more than ink cartridges, but they last way longer. Um, so that, that will increase the supplies. Um, travel went up 100, just based on previous years. And then utilities, I also went based on previous years. Predatory animal is set by the state. What is your showing? 7,600. Oh, no. Now it's at 10,000. So I had 30, <coughs> excuse me, 34,000 in there. Uh, made a change of up to 37.
share service and fees that put records management back in that I talked to Becky and also Ryan on that. We've been some of that stuff comes out of supplies that we've been um, what were we gonna do there, Becky? Do you remember? I think it had to come out of that, didn't it? For the for records management? Or can that come out of supplies? Can you say what I remember talking about? So it's probably a year ago, so. Is that, is that, the, one reason. Is that the one that we're going to pay over a three year period or something? We, went, we were thinking five year plan and then five years. what would be between the two budgets okay. on payment between jail and sheriff's office. That would give me jail records and warrants and civil common software for the sheriff's office. I think I remember now. And our software maintenance and things like that come out of services and fees. I think that's why okay. we put that there. I just want to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. So if that's the case, what do you need? 52000 for supplies. Supplies, uh, fuel, and there's a lot of things that come out of supplies. So, um, equipment replacement, if there's any. Um, I mean, paper, toner, I mean, it's several different things. Uh, the patrol, co patrol car, uh, gasoline comes out of there. Tell me what you guys think. That's what I'm up here for. You got, I think you got more than enough vehicles now, but I don't think you need 50,000 in auto major equipment. I would rather leave that in there instead of being like we were a year ago when we had the one wrecked and then we had this other one that we got at the same time, you know. It doesn't hurt to leave there if you don't, if you don't need it. The thing that it hurts is the cash balance applied that we'll have to use. What's that? Um, the thing that it would hurt if we do just leave it and it's not necessary is the, the cash balance applied that we have to use. We're trying to decrease that. But that's going to be the only issue with leaving it if you don't need it. Well, we take it to like 20000 On that, on the, on the outlay, Kevin, is that what you're saying? On that auto major equipment. Okay. So we can try to reduce our, our 
cash expenditures. Well, like I said, you know, it used to be 528,000 cash applied, then 16 it was 1.2 million, and 17 it was 1.94 million. We don't even have that much if we need that again this year. For like stuff that you don't spend on your budget, you know that you don't budget before and you don't spend it. That goes back in the general fund. It's just never taken out. So, but so you start with actually more money in the general fund because of what wasn't spent. You know what I'm saying? Well, if all the expenditures, if you're looking at your revenues based on your expenditures and, and what money you have left, if you don't spend everything, then, then there's going to still be more in the general fund than what you anticipate. But we've supplemented our budget every year, though, haven't we? Yes. So we've even though we may run more, on... Well, go ahead, Kevin. I'm sorry. We've never had more in there to worry about. We always have to supplement the budget at the end to get enough to put in there to pay the bills. I know that you do have to like certain departments, mm -hmm. but other departments turn money back. That's it doesn't what I come guess. anywhere close to 1.9 million though. So I'm just, you know, that's what I'm saying is overall has the budget had to be, if you just said everybody's money, everybody's came out of the same budget, did it, it go over or did just certain I'd have to look, budget? You know, I'd have to look at that year that there was like, you know what I'm saying though? 80,000 more than contingency covered or, you know, I would have to look. I just wondered when that, like, if, if you don't, if you put in 50,000 for a vehicle and you don't spend any of it, that stays in the general fund. Mm -hmm. Does that, does that mean then that somebody else's budget doesn't have to get supplemented mm -hmm. or, yeah, that's nope. what I'm getting at. Each, each bottom line of their budget is their own. But that 50000 stays in the general, in the general fund, fund. Yep. that you had anticipated mm -hmm. spending. Yep. So what we're going to do there with the equipment? Whenever we <laughs> the bottom one? I already took out. What did you take it to? Zero? Yeah. You took it to zero? Yep. We leave 10,000 in there just in case something goes wrong. Well, where did it, it does, how does that, well, can't really use any supply, can I? I mean, it'll, it'll come out in the end, but it'll just show a negative down here. Because yeah, it it's got to come out of a particular alignment. Right. It depends, like, if we're talking a whole new car replacement, then well, it shouldn't come out of supplies, but if you're talking like repairing a vehicle, you know, if you're well, going to 10,000 in there. My car is the next one due, due to be. Uh, place but I can I mean the only reason I guess I'll get plenty of um, use out of that car again. How many miles do you have on that? Seven. Or within the next year or so you're gonna have to have one of the aren't you? One or two years, yeah. I think it'll be fine for 18. I think so. I want to put 30,000 miles on next year. I 
repairs, maintenance, and all. And I was going to ask you about that because we went over a little bit on the last vehicle purchase, didn't we not? Shouldn't that shouldn't more of and maybe I'm thinking about it wrong, maybe I'm not saying you did it wrong, but um, part of like the equipment stuff that I bought that was supposed to be originally out of that forty six thousand. They got twenty I think twenty one thousand left in there. In that auto and major equipment well for this year? For the repairs and maintenance, is that what you're talking about being yeah. spent? Yes. Normally in, normally when you're um, like you had your decals moved and all that stuff. Yeah. Normally if there's labor on the bill then it goes to repairs and maintenance. Okay. If it was just the stickers or whatever, then it would come out of supplies or and your vehicle installed, correct. Yeah. Okay. So that's where that came from, but I mean, that'll, the bottom line is fine. But that's, if you guys are wondering why that's in the negative, that's why, because there was some, that's where the numbers had to be pulled from, as far as the line item. I mean, but. Share of travel, which from 1800 to 2500, um, sending a couple more people to you know take advantage of the trainings that are at sheriff's conferences and stuff like that. Which was originally 1800, and I'm asking for 25. Salaries. We'll just move down to the, the insurance. I left at 15. Uh, service and fees, like Josh said, that software is in there um, for 22,000. And they just the year they share that I would come out of the jail side of it. Um, zero for the adult boarding. Um, I put 8,000 back in for juvenile boarding. So far, I think we spent 1980. Has there been more than that come in lately or not? I think we might have got one more goal. Okay, then there'll be another one coming. So I think we'll stay within that eight, so hopefully, anyway. I have a question about that. Just because of that um, juvenile justice thing mm -hmm. that we don't qualify for because we're able to house our own, how come, are there certain ones that have specific needs that have to go elsewhere? Is that why we're doing that? Or? Well, it's because, I mean, we do, we've do we been housing out because of the bed space and the sight sound separation deal. So, and the judge is more comfortable housing them either in Pier or Brown County. They've been short stays here. We've been trying to get them out of here so that we're not hanging on to them too long. So do you think it'd be better if we just put ourselves as not being able to hold them so we do qualify for reimbursement? It's just a thought. Because we've been housing them outside anyway. Mm -hmm. you know, then we would at least get some reimbursement. Because maybe we could just say, well, we don't hold juveniles anymore. We just do adults. Then we can be reimbursed. Where right now we're housing them elsewhere and not able to get reimbursed. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just a thought. No, no. How much money is out there, Becky? Do you know? For reimbursement? Yeah. Last year, I think they gave the county. 
counties a total of 242,000? So Between all the counties. But it's just a thought. I'll have Justin check into it and we can It'd be better to recoup some of the money, you know, yeah. if we can. Nope, I agree. Okay, um, next one, uh, dental and medical care. Put 12 back, that's what was in there this year. So far, we only spent 1800 We had one go there today, so I don't, I don't even know what, I don't know what that's going to cost, but that's, it's hard saying how much that will ever be. Um, next one is publishing. I left the 500 in there, that's what it was last year. That's your circle. Okay, that's what I did. That's one of them. I left it. For rugs. Okay. Um, repairs and maintenance. I left it at 100. 100 was in there last year. So far, was, this is 7, 16 something. Is there more? 18 to 84. Okay. So there's roughly 80, 80 some thousand left. But there's a half a year to go, I guess. No idea. We know we got to see something major coming up, but we got to have it at that hundred thousand. We got just these changes in the doors that we're doing that Brad wanted. Some of that's going to come out here yet uh, for this year, anyway. Um, Hayes and Ingle come out of there. No, that will come out of here. That'll come out of there too. Out of maintenance. Just looking at it for next year. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I have no idea. I know. I have the AC work done, uh, the AC heating unit, that was like $1,800. I have chunks of control for the fix it one time. Um, so I don't know what we want to put it at. I hate to make it too short and not cover. You really so say you're spending 100000 on that old place? <laughs> well, I'd rather not, but I don't know when it'll change yet, so I don't want to make it short. Same way as that other fifty thousand. We're trying to get it yeah. back. No, if you want to take it to sixty, maybe. I don't want to give up all of it because obviously I don't know what the year's going to bring. That's up to you guys, I guess. Where are you at now? Hundred. I've spent roughly just under twenty so far. I think eighteen something. Eighteen. Yeah. And it's half a year's almost up. Is up. Um, I guess we're not planning anything major over there. You can do it. You can put it down to 50, and if something major comes up, we'll have to bring it in front of the board, and we'll have to do it that way. But put it put it back down to 50. I would say at least 50. You get the good number. Hmm. I get to get one okay. We'll come and something major though we'll come and ask. And then <laughs> um, next one, jail supplies. Hopefully that'll go home. I put it at forty three. Budget this year was forty. So far we spent thirty eight or maybe more. Forty two, but forty thousand two. But but the Tahoe, the Tahoe out. came out of the jail budget, which I'll never understand, but it did. <laughs> so okay. that's why. Okay, so that was the, all right, so we could probably stay at, well, I'd say 40 then, <clears throat> or somewhere in there anyway. So you want to drop that down then? Yeah, I'm going to yeah, stay at just 40. Mm -hmm. The price of the price. Twenty-sixteen, we spent 46000 28 or 36? Is it? Oh, sure. So, what is that? Like, say, great. That's just like the one from Selby. Yeah. The okay. one from Selby came out of jail, the one from Pickup. Oh, okay. Um, 40, right with that one? Okay. Prisoner care, prisoner personal care. I left at 15, we we'll spent like 500 bucks. I had 15 budget this year, so I left it the same. Um, over the counter meds, I left it at 1,000. We spent 
way less than that so far. That's what was in there last year. Groceries, I left the 28. I'm really close to that, I think, as far as this year. The overall. end of June is 14 heat. Yeah, so halfway I've spent half of it, so it's going to be real close. Mm -hmm. um, snacks, that's something stupid in there. Cleaning products, I uh, left the two grand. That's what was in there last year. Paper products, I uh, left that 11. This was in there last year. Prisoner prescriptions, I left the four grand. That's what was in there last year. I know we only spent a hundred bucks in the 17, but we never know how retarded that could get. Do you have a different number right now? 281. 281 bucks? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Thank God we haven't gotten any 12, $2,000 minutes even. But I think we kind of well, fixed some of that stuff where I mean, Davies is working on the yeah, same. Yeah, and I mean, seven days supplies. We only order seven days at a time. We don't order what they were going for. Uh, travel, 1500 left it at that. Utilities, well, I left it at 20 out. Uh, so far, we spent it close to 10. 10, 158? Yeah, so we should be real close. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Corner. Corner salary. Um, he was getting eighty three dollars a call. Um, I looked, kind of looked at what other corners were making. It just didn't seem right because it's not per hour, it's per call. That doesn't include any mileage expense. He could go clear to Java and only get $83 for that whole call. That's his hours, however long it takes. <coughs> and so I discussed it with Ryan and with the coroner, and we all agreed that $150 per call would be more probably accurate because he's always on call, for one. He could be four in the morning and he's got to go across the county and $83 just didn't seem right. So that salary did, we, we just put it at 1500 for the year. I don't know what everybody thinks about that, but I don't think there's many people that would do it for $83 per occurrence. Especially. Sounds good. That job. <laughs> um, and then services and fees. We don't know how many people will have to be transported for autopsies and things like that. So, I mean, this year we spent 5700 already. I We kept it at 7000 but that one's a tough one. There could be three autopsies. There could be 12. Stuff. And the amount of those autopsies too are it's joint request usually between myself and the coroner. It depends on what the deal is. So. Yeah. I think most unattended deaths have to have autopsies, though. Not all of them. Do you request that or just I do. If there was a murder or something like that or a suspicious death, yeah, it's gonna be requested pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's obvious the person had a heart attack in the middle of the night or something like that, but if they just happen to go to sleep and there happened to be a rope around their neck or something like that, there's probably gonna be an autopsy in that. So. Or just younger <laughs> yep. people. Younger people or falls downstairs, um, self-inflicted gunshot wounds, things like that, probably gonna have an autopsy in or at least have the state lab do some plans and stuff. 
so. And they do that usually out in Rapid, so there's always the expense of getting them there and getting them back and things like that. So that all goes in that services and fees. Yep, and Eric does all that. So. Emergency management, I believe she put the 5% increase in as well. Um, I can't really tell you much about the request. <laughs> I don't really know. There's a meeting in Mulbridge, Warhawk, I think. It um, went down from last year. It went down, but pretty much stayed the same. Supplies. Yeah. But it doesn't look like any huge increase, and we will be having another meeting if you guys want to ask for specifics about it. She requested $37,050. She said increase of is mosquito spray. Looks like she decreased that. I think it's because she's not spraying in all the cities anymore. Um, mentally ill. Your guess is as good as mine. Right, Jamie? Yes. That is impossible to figure out. Left the same. So it's, that one's just a coin toss on what it's going to be. Right. We just never know. Developmentally disabled is the cost of ours. We have one person that we have to pay for. So that didn't change. Um, mental health services and fees grant to other entity is the 15500 that we always give to Northeastern Mental Health. Mental Health is board. That's another guess. That's the people that review them when they're in Yankton and things like that. The museum, we've been giving them 4500 since 2015. Parks, we put 500 in and 250 this year. I just left it. Senior citizens, we've been giving them each 2,000. Um, I don't know if you guys think that should be increased or just do the same. It's been 2,000 each for a long time. Translator district. <laughs> we might get there soon. You invite me? 
but not soon enough. Well, we do have an offer on the table. Um, for the Roscoe Tower, I believe we have an offer of 95000 which we would just be like, here you go. However, we're having an issue with, with them agreeing with the agreements between the people that are offering to buy it and the landowner. So, one of the TV board members is going to try and mediate the situation and see if we can't get further moving forward. But we'll have to put it in. work on the other tower? Um, the other one, they offered us 10000 for, which that's the one we use. So um, if we can't get it sold, I mean, if we, if we can't sell that one, it's only going to make us 10000 but we would be rid of it. That would be kind of nice. But I don't know. It's, there's so much, especially with, like, the legislation and stuff like that. The legislature needs to step up and just say, look, the, our legislators from this area need to eliminate that translator district out of the statutes. Right, because we're the only one yep. in the country. So those statutes only apply to us. And, that's kind and of to get rid of it by statute, <coughs> our requirements to do it is super hard. Yep. It's got to be, what, a vote of 60% 60 60 of all of all the counties, counties involved. And we have how many counties back here? Five. That's right. That's why it's like we need the legislature to come in and uh, repeal that statute. So then that way we just get rid of it. We don't have to. It's kind of an obsolete deal. Everybody has satellite or cable nowadays. It just very few people use antenna coverage. You know, a lot of campers and stuff do, but I think the average household does not use a Because what do we get off the translator tower? Three channels? Um, well, it's CBS, um, NBC, ABC, and Fox, and then the public channel, but that's, they got their own. Tower, PBS has their own their tower own now. Stuff. Um, supposedly we're going to be getting more channels, possibly, but it's just a different NBC or, you know, things like that. But if this sale does not go through, our next option is to hope they change the law because we can't just, I mean, based on the laws, we can't just tear the power down. <laughs> it's frustrating. And then with that power outage issue, there was about $35,000 worth of damage to one of the towers and the equipment, and our insurance won't cover it because it was due to the power outage. So yeah, it's it would be nice to get those sold. So, anyway, so conservation that she I had spoke with Linda and she asked to request the 18.5, but then we talked about that earlier. Do you guys want me to see what it would take to make her an employee? and pest. I don't see a huge increase of anything. Um, services and fees. As you can see in 16, there was a large amount that came out of there. That's because two years got paid for in one. Should buy a spray or something? No, that was for um, in 15, it looks like she did. In 16, that, that services and fees, that's for the foreground spraying. <coughs> we get reimbursed, we have to pay the people to do it. We get reimbursed from the state. But that's why that's so out of whack there. It's usually around 25000 
Okay. Yeah, there's not much change in mine. Just the uh, I put the five percent. Three um, percent is fine. The salary. <clears throat> I'm anticipating fewer uh, meetings, open board meetings, but I'll probably do more hours going out and looking at uh, every time we get to a building. Going out looking at. Um, zoning services and fees, that was, we went a little over, but that was a payment we made to NECOG for doing our ordinances and comprehensive plan. So I don't know if we have anything more coming from them, or for them, if we're going to be asking them for anything more, so I left that at the same, 2500 They did a lot of work for us this last year. Last yeah. year, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, a lot of work. For us. Great. Anybody have any questions on this? development page 52 we had a deal with the city of Mobridge to give them ten thousand dollars per year for the new armory that has been done this was the last year so that's why that amount is now zero perfect that's our whole budget shortfall right there <laughs> and then I believe next is Year, and that's why we're probably not doing it again next year. Mm -hmm. That's why I went past the first three hundred thousand right now. Well, we're getting within two million. Yeah. <laughs> closer. operator and a jailer. <laughs> so we'll go down that road when we get to right that now. part. <laughs> um, I did reduce it to 3% that decreased the total by about 14000 for salaries. Um, highway insurance, or left, or well I guess I increased by 100 but The highway services and fees I decreased by 30 thousand five hundred because I think originally for the flat we were going to take the engineering fees out of highway services and fees and then we did the audit and they said we needed to get rid of our reserve so we decided to use the reserve money to pay the engineering costs for the flat it all comes out in the wash anyway that got decreased thirty five thousand thirty thousand uh, publishing stayed the same rental stayed the same Repairs and maintenance, that's a guessing game. I don't know. Uh, I kept it at 20000 Supplies and materials kept the same. Highway travel and conference increased by 100 Highway utilities kept the same. Other, I kept the same. The snow expense, I kept the same. My reserve, or HBR, we're going to leave it the way it is. 
the reason it is over is we got our striping bill from 2016. It got lost in the mail someplace, so it did not get paid in 2016. So I'm going to have two striping bills that are going to come out of 2017. So that's going to be over, but the other balances it all out, so it all comes out of the wash. Secondary road, I increased by 20. On the highway improvements other than buildings, that's $610,000. That's approximately what it's going to cost the county to do the Swan Creek project. That's 17.8%. No, we're getting half that from the... We'll, we'll get game half game. of that back from the game fishing parks. But I have to put the, <clears throat> the entire amount in here. And that is coming out of um, what oh, used to be our STP fund account, and it's the money we get from uh, the state every year. That's where that 600 is going to come out of. Um, major equipment, left it the same. Are you still in that five-year rotation? Yes, we've got two blades left to get into the seven. I just got one question for yeah. you. What, what all is coming out of the supplies and materials? That's gravel. That's everything. I know, but I'm just saying because we're not even close right now. And we got it for well, that's, that's, a, that's as of the end of April. What are we at now, Becky? 
I told Josh we should just build them in so the budget's not being overspent, even though we're getting them reimbursed to us. Budget without putting any money into it is what? Two. You mean the total revenues that we bring in? Well, well, yeah, the total revenues is bringing in. If we was going to have a balanced budget. The estimated revenue, I figured this was include any grant dollars. told you for the general fund does not include prisoner boarding because that's going into the building renovations fund. That's not going into the general fund. I mean, it is at first, but it's transferred. So I did not include that in the 2.4. Wednesday, we could be back the following week. I don't know. I just, just do it after the meeting. Yeah, I know. Just go the first and do it after the question meeting again. As long as we have a lunch break in there, I think it would be okay. <laughs> yeah, we need that lunch break. Yes, we do. Yeah. August break first. at 12. Thank you. August okay. 1st, break at 12. I'll just put it on that same agenda. 
Just put a break at a one-hour break in there. Okay. What time did you have the second meeting started? Eleven. Yeah. That way, no one can say that you didn't improperly notice, and that's good. It started in the morning, and even if we have to start it in the afternoon, we're still covering ourselves. So, yeah. 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 Can I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Aye